We have a uh, poolside podcast vocabulary word. Today. Yes, and we we forgot to stop halfway through and go that. So, but we'll just do it now because we're we're going to make it all work anyway, no matter what. Oh yeah. And what was the word? Well, I was thinking of footing. Oh, right. So like footing the bill for something? Oh, well, I was thinking of another footing, although I do owe you some money for lunch. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? (laughs) So uh, a footing is part of the foundation Mm -hmm. that's, you know, basically in the ground that helps support it so it doesn't sink or settle or something along those lines is what Webster said it was. But a footing could also be a grade beam. Footing could be a grade beam as well. So, So in layman terms, a footing is exactly what, Mike? Well, it could be just a section of concrete that supports a single post. Mm-hmm. So it could be a uh, footing could be a section of concrete that supports a whole wall that's continuous. And so a grade beam is something where you're going to, the problem is if I do four corners of a post each and I put footings on those, the chances of it twisting over time is a definite possibility because they're in four independent pieces legs sticking in the ground now if you have an arbor that's built out of wood and it twists a little bit you're probably okay okay but if you're doing a solid roof with a ceiling and lights in it and all kinds of things like that you can't have movement those four corners moving independently and so that's what our grade you're basically, I, I describe it as a waffle underneath the concrete that connects all four corners together. It's stabilizing everything. Right. I mean, the po- that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to stabilize stuff so it doesn't have a problem. Right. Doesn't sink. Doesn't swell. So when you build a house, do houses get built with just footings or they get built with grade beams? It depends. But around here, most of them are grade beams. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the uh, construction in different areas is different. But And that's a really good way, I think, to maybe start understanding stuff is, you know, get around your specific area, especially when new houses are being built, and look at the foundations from for, for them. You know, in Arizona, I mean, they literally build right on the ground. You know, being from Idaho and being a former home builder in Idaho, uh, when I got to Phoenix 30 some odd years ago, I was flabbergasted with the construction. I, it, ju- it just didn't make any sense to me, but you know, it's a very production market. Phoenix is, it's, it's a very transient city. I mean, people come and go, it's a great city. It's a beautiful city. We love it there. We still have our home there, but at the end of the day, it was so diverse and different than what we were doing in Idaho. It took me a while to catch on to it. I'm not, and I don't necessarily think it's better. It's just that, you know, production wise, and that's the point of production, which we had a a conversation about is really all about how can we inexpensively or how cheap or how, you know, little can we build something for that? That to me is what production is all about. It's all about, you know, being, you know, not doing anything more than you absolutely have to. So, well, we want to do what works best. Absolutely. Absolutely.